Okay. Okay, guys. I am going to be doing um, my latest stack of my collection. This will be the third part in this series from, I believe the last one I did was about five, six months ago. I'm not sure. And these are some of the books that I still have. Um, because a lot of them I'll give away after a while or share with my sister. Um, I work at a nursing home, so sometimes I'll keep the pages I want, put them in a binder, and I'll give the rest of the book to the nursing home. So these are the books that I have since the last collection. And I'm not going to flip through every page. I'm just going to kind of show you what, what I have. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's uh, Fantasy Quest, Color by Number. Sun Life Drawing just has the best, most fun. Uh, so Pegasus. Um, they just have the best books. I just love them. Um, this one is a color um, by number. But they have all kinds of different kinds. You'll see uh, when I'm flipping through, I'm going to show you guys some different ones. But um, check them out because I love their stuff. This one is Lucy's Lacey Sunshine's Enchanted Kingdom, um, volume 33. I have not colored in this one yet. Let me put this to the side. It's distracting. Um, really cute. Um, whimsical. Adorable. Um, I do have reviews on all of these books. I may not have posted them all yet, but I do have a review for all of the books. Really cute. Really, really cute girl. Lots of faces. Lots of creatures. Go check it out. That is Lacey Sunshine. This one was sent to me by the publisher. It's called All About the Dog. Um, it is so cute. I love it. I had um, two chihuahuas, and they just make this book just makes me miss them because they're no longer with us. But if you're a dog lover or just love cute little animals, this is a book for you. You will just absolutely love it. It's so cute. I love this little pug. Um, my favorite was this little, let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh my, see how cute they are, y'all? You have to get this book, this one. I love the little French bulldogs. Love them. Okay, guys, all about the dog. Illustrations by Martin Berry. And then, if you're not a dog lover, we got Creative Cat. And this one, because it's small, let me go in a little bit. This one is Creative Cat. It's called Pattern Doodle Color with a Muse by David Sinden. It's a smaller book. You can definitely throw this in your purse. It's, um, you, it's like you complete the book. It's not all um, a coloring book. It's got doodles and little puzzles and little prompts that you can follow along. You can color and add layers here or there. Um, it's like a coloring book meets Wreck This Journal, something like that. Lots of fun little things to do with your kids or whatever. And then we have some Creative Haven books. This one is The Spring Scenes. Really pretty book. Um, I think I only started one color. And yeah, I started this one. This is the one I'm currently working on. But um, they have some beautiful scenes in this book, y'all. Um, I really, really love all the Creative Haven books. I have so many of their books. Um, just gorgeous. You need to check this one out, y'all. The 30 Springtime Scenes to Color by Creative Haven. Um, illustrated by Teresa Goodridge. Don't want to leave that out. And then this one. Oh, that light. Sorry, guys. This one is. Let me see if this helps. All right. This one is another Creative Haven, The Wizard of Oz. I mean, who doesn't love The Wizard of Oz? But this one's got, like, um, I love, love, love how they drew um, Dorothy in this one. This is Marty Noble. Creative Haven books have the front cover and the back cover um, colored in already to give you some ideas. And they're so beautiful. This is the one I started. Um, 
I gotta finish this one and I got her little shoes all sparkly with my stickles love my stickles if you don't have stickles guys y'all need to go run and grab you some stickles I'm, I'm just saying I love my stickles they, they went on sale and I just told everybody and I bought like all of them so yeah really really cute Wizard of Oz book I love how they did it um, really adorable go check it out and then here we go we got another um, we have another color by number by Sun Life Drawings. This one is the Travel Mosaic. The, tra the mosaics spaces are a lot bigger than some of their color by numbers. But they're both fun for what they are. This one has a mosaic look. That's why I think this one is really cool. It'll, it kind of looks like, um, like a stained glass effect when you're finished. Here you can put your color palettes so you'll remember what colors you know you were working on. This is the one that I am working on. This is the first time in their books that I have actually used pencil. I wanted to try a pencil instead of using markers for the whole thing. So it's coming out really cute. I really like it. Big Ben. Um, I think there's like 25 pages in here. Something like that. Yeah, they give you the table of contents with all the places that you could color. Um, 22 colors on, uh, 22, it is, it's 25 pictures, and there are 22 color palette. There's a 22 color palette on the back cover, which is great. Love it. All right, so, yeah, check this one out. Another Sun Life Drawing Travel Mosaic Color by Number. And here we go with, well, I don't know where my Dreamlings 1 is, but this is Dreamlings 2. Um, again, simply adorable book. I absolutely love this style, the whimsy, wonderful style. Um, it is by Edwina McNamee, I believe. Where's her name? Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out. I like how this book, the front pages are all backed in white. And then the pages start over and they're backed in black. I love that. So you get to try it in two different um, styles. You know, I, I love when the books do things like that. This is a really, really beautiful book. I love it. There's a um, Dreamlings 1 in here somewhere. I'll find it. This one is called Mascara Bursting Midnight Enchantment by Mardell Rubio. And it is a fantastically beautiful book. Nothing on the back. I love that it's um, spiral bound. A lot of books are doing that now. It is really nice cardstock material. Just absolutely stunning book. I mean, look how beautiful this book is. It is so worth it, guys. Um, definitely, you have to go and check it out. I'm trying to find the, the page I did. These are frame worthy. This is what I call frame worthy pictures. Oh, here's the one I did. I absolutely love how he came out. I used a lot of glitter. This was before I had stickles. A <laughs> um, lot of glitter, a lot of gel pens going on in here. I just really, really love how he came out. So yeah, Mardell Rubio. Check it out. Next, I have one of these giant books. These are the Color By Me books. Um, I think I have four of them, but in their collection, they have five. They sent these to me, which was so wonderful of the publisher. Um, <clears throat> there's 26 book. I'm sorry. There's 26 pages in each book, and they're 11 by 16, and they are big. I mean, look how big it is for the screen. I, I won't even be able to show you the whole thing. Um, this is the one I started. I had taken it out so I could work on it a little easier. Um, 
the Viking ship. I love Vikings, so that's why I started this one. And then they have over here some of the pages that are colored by other people. They put them on the front cover, which I really, really like. Got a nice table of contents here. Some of the pages are landscape, and some of them are portrait. And they're really, really pretty. Um, I like how it's so big. I like that you have a lot of space to work. This is so cute. There, there's a lot of hidden things in these books. This one is um, the lizard, of course, you can see, but he's he's shaped like a car. And then like, there's a little sloth or something inside the car. There's so many different little hidden items in these books, which I really, really like. See, like this cat, you, there's a rabbit right here. It's, it's just really, really neat. I'm not going to flip through all of them, but you get the idea. This one is Color Me 2. Um, running out of space. This one is Color Me 4. Uh, really adorable books here, guys. These are the ones that people colored. And then we got Quick Flip. Some really, really pretty. I love the pig, the flying pig. She's so pretty. I can't wait to do her. Aren't they cute? So yeah, check it out. You, they're very inexpensive too. Um, for such a big book, you get um well worth your money. You get a lot. <clears throat> one more. Color me your way. This is the first one. Isn't that pretty, the cover? Let me show you inside of this one, some of the animals. Table of contents, you get a bunch of, um, there are a bunch of animals on, in this one too. Lots of hidden items. I love the owl. A lot of animals, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You can watercolor, they're perforated, you can tear them out, you can paint them, marker, anything. Um, 26, 11 by 16 pages in here, spiral bound. Okay, here we go with a um, Alice in Wonderland, Alice Adventures. This one is the classic illustrations by Sir John Tenniel. I love Alice in Wonderland. I've shown a lot of her book, a lot of books with her in it. Um, everyone I see, I just have to grab. I absolutely love them. This one is becoming one of my favorites. I love this pull-out little poster thing over here, the color. It, this book is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the illustrations. The paper feels nice. It's really smooth, really heavy. The pages are gorgeous. You can read it to your um, kids. It's just very, very vintage looking, and that I love that. Just really pretty. I'm just kind of flipping through some of these pages. Love it. Isn't that cute? Oh my god. Y'all, I have so many books. I can't even. I can't give up. But yeah, this one is one of my faves for sure. I know I colored a page in here, but I'm not sure where it's at. I gotta do some more. And then they got the back. Slip out as well. I love that. Uh oh. Sticker. Alright, so again, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Sir John Tenniel. Um, this one is another recent purchase. Phantomorphia by Kirby Rosane. Rosane, Rosane, I'm not sure, guys. Wow. This book is one of my favorites from him. He, he just outdid himself. A lot of people were upset because the book is a lot thinner than his normal books. Um, and they're one-sided. And so you don't get as many pages as you do his other books. But they cost it costs the same. 
but they're worth it. I'm serious. The, the, the book is amazing. It's so gorgeous. He put a lot of details in these books. And I mean, this is the kind of book that I would paint or color almost every single page. I love it that much. I have started, I've done a couple in here. Did this one. Lots of sparkles in this one. Love this. There's a couple I, don't, I wouldn't do, but for the most part, I'm going to finish this book sooner or later. I love the spider, even though in real life I hate spiders. I think this is the next one I'm going to do. I saw an awesome uh, picture of it on Pinterest, this one too. A pumpkin. Okay, this is the other one that I did. Again, we got a lot of sparkles. You can't really see it <clears throat> on the camera. And here's all of them. Really good. Phantomorphia, Kirby Rosans. Okay, here we go. This one is Birdtopia by Daisy Fletcher. This one is another big book. Really large. I don't know if it says the size. No, it doesn't say a size on here. But it is really, really pretty. Oh, some of the colors, backgrounds are colored in for you. Let me just do a quick flip. A lot of gorgeous animal pictures in here. Some of these are already colored in, like this one, already colored for you. This one is already colored for you. I wish I could say I did that, but no, did not. <laughs> so it's like a beautiful art book as well as a coloring book. I did do this one though. I did this page. I had a lot of fun doing this one. I think that's all I did so far in this book. So yeah, Birdtopia, nice big heavy duty, gorgeous, gorgeous paper in this one. And I have another large book. This one is called Floribunda by Leela Dooley. This is all flowers, and I'm telling you, it is, I mean, heavy duty cardstock. And they give a lot of the examples of the flower, so you can kind of tell what they are and color them, you know, that way if you would like. These come out really easy. They're so beautiful. I mean, this is artist quality paper here. I don't even know if I would call it paper. It's cardstock. I started this one. I started that one. I will finish it. Just lovely, lovely pages. And it tells you what flowers are here. So big, sorry. It tells you what flowers are in each picture. There are a lot in here, so you get a lot. Really, really nice. This is the back of the book. It is 20 pictures in here. Floribunda. This is another really cool book. This is August Revere, Vivid Publishers. Ah, um, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Chintaka Harat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I botched that name. But, um, really pretty book, y'all. I've been seeing a lot of these um, pictures. Only thing is, okay, it's very, very thin, thin, thin paper. And it's got that shine to it. Um... I really, I really like it though. The illustrator just did a gorgeous job. Very, um, very, um, like a Hannah Carzam look and feel to it, I guess I would say. With the faces and all. Um, I like this one. She was a lot of fun to color. 
just a stunningly gorgeous book, y'all. So again, August Revere. I think they have another one, Vivid Publishers. Okay, and this one is Ladies of Leisure by Zan Von Zed. There's several in this series, I believe. 20, 20 assorted colors and pages in this one. Um, they're like grayscale. Really, really pretty. They're non-perforated, but you can take them out easily enough. This is the one I started. Y'all are sensing a pattern. I start a lot. <laughs> I get bored, and then I just go to the next page, and I'll come back around and start on it again. Again, Ladies of Leisure Coloring Quest by Zan Von Zed. All right, these are, I have two Linda Ravencroft books. Absolutely love them. I had to wait forever for them. They're spiral bound. This is the back. It is gorgeous paper. Gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And um, when you buy them through her site, she signs right here. She signs every single book. I mean, look at the stunning quality of these. You could definitely frame these books. There are tons and tons of examples of these all over the internet. Again, this is Linda Raven's Cross Fairy and Fantasy Art. Um, just stunning, stunning book. Here's another Linda's Ra Linda Ravencroft where she signed it up here. This is book four. It's 300 GSM paper. Professional quality. You just, I mean, you just can't get past how gorgeous this paper is. Look at him. Oh my gosh. It's kind of hard to flip these because the pages are so thick, but let's just do a quick, quick, quick go. I think she has three more books, so I got. I started this one too. Um, finished her. I love how she came out. The Hedgling. Okay. Oh, here we go. Dreamlings One. This is. Um, it is Edwina McNamee. Dreamlings One. It's a lot like her first one, where the front. The front of the book is backed in white, and, and then you got another section in the back that are backed in black. Look at them unicorns! Love unicorns! Uh, so, so cute. I just love it. It's whimsy. A lot of cute things in here to color. And this one is by Robert Rascom. This is Raspberry Hill. I just recently got this one. So, so pretty. I love this book. His little creatures are so cute. Let's do a quick flip. I think I watercolored in this one. And I like how some of the pages are backed in black. Look how cute. Oh, isn't that nice? Little campfire. You can, I can just picture it colored in. I watercolored this one. I was trying out my Jane Davenport watercolors. I like this page too. Really, really cute, guys. Check him out. He's got a bunch of cute books. And I believe most of them you can download as well. Robert Rascom, Raspberry Hill. This is one by Molly Harrison. Fantasy and Fairy, another grayscale. I really, really like grayscale. Some people hate it, but I love it. This is the one that I'm currently working on. I get a lot of stickles on the scale. I need to go back and do some more. But it's another really gorgeous book. All of her books are like this, though. You cannot go wrong with any of Molly Harrison's books. Is what the back looks like. I like that you can see what you're buying. 
before you know you even purchase it. A gorgeous book. Um, uh, one more by Molly. This one is 25 Images, A World of Fairies. Another um, grayscale book. That's the cover. Stunning. Just gorgeous. Watercolor. You can do anything in that book. Okay, this one is Daisy, another Daisy Fletcher. It's super big. Let me back up a second. It is Into the Wild. It's a Wonderland coloring book. This is the back. It shows you all the pages. This opens up into this huge forest scene with unicorns. These are backed in yellow. Just this one, this book is just amazingly gorgeous. I did one page in here, my daughter did another somewhere, I believe. I love that little owl sitting on the mushrooms. This one too, I love this page. Okay, my daughter did this page, and then I worked on this page. I love how she did the multicolor on the um, this flower and on the squirrel too. Just gorgeous. I love my watercolor. <laughs> okay, Daisy Fletcher into the wild. We got this one is Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. The bag looks like this is another spiral bound book. It is just like the mascara one I told you about. It's same publisher, it's got gorgeous paper. You can pull it out. The only one with problem with this one is that I did have a little trouble turning the page, so you got to be a little careful or you'll rip the page out. A lot of stunning faces to color. I love coloring faces. That's one of my favorite things to do. Let's do it this way. I've seen a ton of these on Pinterest and Facebook. This is the one I did. My only issue with this book was in some of the spots when I'm trying to blend the colors. You can't really see it right here, but um, the ink rubs. It's one of those books where the black will rub into your your um, pencils and makes it look dirty. So either don't blend <laughs> or use markers or paint or something maybe. This is the one my daughter started on. And that's it. Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. This is the newest um, Maria Troll book that I purchased. Let me go back up. This one is Nightfall. I absolutely love hardback books. Love them. And her books are so beautiful. So cute and whimsy. I love all the little ghosts and little creatures she's got all over the place. I love how some of them are um, backed in black. Make some pop. Oh, so cute. Oh. Trying not to go too fast, but the video is going to be very long. If I don't, I'm almost finished though. I. This is the one I did. I was working on it at Easter, so that's why I did the little bunny. And I got a ton of stickles right here. You can see them. And on the ears and on the dragonfly. Or the moth, whatever you call it. I don't know. But I love how the water came out. Came out really, really cute. And then I got this little angry creature in here. I don't know if you can see it. I got him. He's so cute. They're in, they're in the book. They're all over the place. You just gotta find them. 
so far. That's what I've done in here. This one is Color Me Circus. A little, it's a smaller book. It's like eight by eight, looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's eight by eight. Really, really thin. Paper, paper thin. But um, I don't normally like circus type things. But I really love the look of this one. It's vintagey looking. I keep rubbing it because it's like that um, really smooth, rubbery feeling cover. I like it. And let's just flip through really quickly. I really like the pictures in here. Kind of abstract, vintagey looking. Right the clown. I need to work on the bowling pin. But I got the little clown and all the ropes done. See how thin it is? That was just with a gel pen. And it went right through. Isn't that pretty? I know I did another page in here somewhere. Oh well. Okay, Color Me Circus by Natia Imbragmo. Imbrag I don't know. Color Me Circus. Adorable book. Very inexpensive. Guys, check it out. Another really small book. Same size. It's got that same texture. It's another one by Grazia Salvo. The um the one who did this book, Flowers and Gems. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, I have to have it. It is um Enchanted Creatures and it says a magic coloring book. I'm not even sure if I colored in this one yet. I think I did. Okay, I started this one. I started her face and I colored her. A little border. I had this book in my cart for a long time and I wasn't sure if I wanted to get it or not. And then when flowers and gems came out and I was like this illustrator is amazing I'm going to buy this book and that's exactly what I did because I couldn't find it online I couldn't find a flip of it but really really pretty this one is called Quirkles Icon it's 20 iconic portraits plus a poster it's another color by number book let me back out because it is super big. Um, 20 portraits in here. I was trying to find the size of it. But it is big. Let's just say that. It is big. Here are the instructions. It tells you how to do it. And just be prepared. I had one of those magnifying light things and at first I was like this is impossible I'm not gonna do it I was like absolutely not I'm not gonna do it so I took out my trusty magnifying glass it lights up it lights up you see the light and then it clips to your desk so I clipped it to, to my little board and then you bend it right to your face <laughs> and then see you can see everything really clear without killing your eyes or your neck invest in one of these it was under 10 bucks so yeah uh, you can't tell what these are so I'm just gonna go to the one that I did yes I finished one somewhere in here It is challenging. I gave you that. It is very challenging. This is the giant poster, which is never going to happen. This book is definitely going to be donated to um, 
Oh, you know what? I forgot. I took that page out. They're perforated. And I gave it to my daughter. It's on the video. This is the one that I did right here. The um, Elizabeth Taylor one. It just came out so pretty. I really love these books. I mean, really cute. They have them. An, I know they have an animal one as well. Quirkles. This book, I haven't done a review on it yet. So I'm just going to kind of um, tell you what it's about. It's an anime and manga coloring book. Chibi. I hope I'm saying that right. Chibi Animal Girls. It's another book by Sun Life Drawing. Which is a surprise because most of all their books are dot to dots or colored by numbers. Um, so this is like a manga book. I'm going to give you all of the pictures in the back. And I'm just going to do a quick flip. I, so yeah, this book is really, really cute. I haven't done a review on it yet. But um, I will be. It is really, really cute. It's called Chibi Animal Girls Sun Life Drawing. Maybe by the time this is posted, I'll have already had it up. But um, so different from their normal, y'all. But I love it. Um, if you like anime, go check it out because it's adorable. And um, I'll be posting a link for this very, very soon. Speaking of Sun Life, here's another one of their book called Lines and Dots. Can y'all tell I'm a fan? This <laughs> This is the back, and it shows you all of the pages in here. Some of them are just lines, and some of them, like these, are dots. All you have to do is take one color, a dark color, and fill in the lines. That's it. No thinking about colors, no blending, no shading, just color. I did this one, The Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Let me see if I have yeah, this one. It's so fun. It was just lines. That's it. They get bigger, they get smaller, and you just fill it in. Some of them you don't even know what it is. It's just a surprise. Just open the book and start doing it because it's going to be fun. Kids will love these books. Really, really cute. Lines and dots. Last but not least, Color Me 3. Another one of those giant 11 by 16 books. This one has a lot of, I love her, isn't she pretty? Really, really nice books again. Cute pages. A lot of hidden details. Look, I mean, look at this horse. There is a woman in the horse design. It's just so pretty. I love them. A lot of gems and things hidden in these. Really, really stunning. Color me three. Okay, guys, I think that is my last book. This is the latest book that I bought, but this is a um, mixed media art book. I have a ton of art books like this, and I was thinking about doing an, um, a video with all of my art books, drawing books, and and things like that. But I'm not sure if people want to see that. So if y'all think you would want to see a collection video of just art books, let me know down at the bottom, and I'll um, I'll make that happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate it if you made it this far. Um, I will post my next collection very very soon when I get a few more books. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about any of the books, let me know. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you haven't hit that sub, guys, please hit the sub button for me. And I would appreciate a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.